Happy Sabbath to you all. Concrete is simply cement, water, and gravel. Although we often interchange the terms concrete and cement, cement is only a component of concrete, and concrete is the structural material. Cement is basically a glue that is made up of ground powders and various elements. And one of the more popular cements is Portland cement, which is made up of limestone, sand, clay, and iron ore, which is blended together, grounded up, and heated to about 1400 degrees Celsius in a rotating kiln. Once it is cooled, it is pulverized and mixed with gypsum to make the base to which the various percentages of water and aggregate are added for the final concrete. Concrete has some great spiritual analogies. For instance, our foundation, as we read in Hebrews 6.1, starts with repentance. And it is important for the foundation to be right, or the whole structure is in jeopardy. A solid foundation needs to be wider than the edifice built on it so the foundation doesn't tilt. A concrete foundation needs to be below the freeze and line, frost line, so that it doesn't move up out of the ground and it needs to be on firm ground, or even better, as we read in Luke 6, 48, needs to be built on a rock. If the base material is mixed right, all we have to do is add the right amount of water. And to continue the analogy, that is God's Holy Spirit, as we read in John 1, 33. Once we have the foundation, we can add then godly doctrine, continuing in Hebrews 6, 2, so that God can build us into his temple. Let me read to you from 1 Corinthians 3, verses 9 through 17. For we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, you are God's building. According to the grace of God, which is given to me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another builds on it. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become clear. For the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work, which he has built on it, endures, he will receive a reward. And if anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet as so through fire. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. What is your calling being built on, and what is it being built with? I wish you a very happy Sabbath.